So I'm assuming that you're ready to put your calendar together since you are watching the video. Um, there are PDF instructions at the top of this, above this video. And that's where you'll find the instructions if you don't recall, if you don't have the email any longer. So um, thank you, first of all, for purchasing the calendar. I appreciate your support. And um, I think it went really well this year. I um, am now at the point of telling you how to put them together. I do not have one to put together as I cut, didn't cut enough, I was sure, one calendar and that was the one I was gonna use for the video. So we're gonna walk through and I'm just gonna tell you how I put them together. Each calendar consists of, um, if you're doing the easel, your this page is already attached to your easel. And so you have a sheet of um, cardstock, card ah, cardstock that coordinates with the rest of your calendar um, page. So this that is the your base, and that's this piece right here. This on January, it's the gray one. And so that's what you'll be working on. And then you will have two pieces of designer series paper. Some of them will be cut already to size. Some of them are a six by six and you will need to cut those down. The measurements are three and a half by five and a quarter. And you'll cut two, one for the top, one for the bottom. You'll attach the two in the middle of this and put it, attach it to the gray paper, the gray sheet here attach them in the middle, and then wrap the ribbon around before you attach it to here. If you are doing it on um, for the wood mount, I would suggest that you attach the two papers together with a piece of tape, and then wrap the ribbon around them, and then attach them to the gray sheet. So yours will be a little different. It won't go all the way to the edge. Your ribbon will stop here. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So um, get yourself some scotch tape. Um, so then you'll attach those two pieces of designer series paper. You will create your calendar and there's a separate video on how to do that. And then attach your calendar to a four and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of cardstock that is already scored at the top. And so you'll attach that calendar to that, fold it over and stamp your January on the little oval that's in your kit, and then attach that. Um, on this one, there is a, a piece of designer series paper that goes across the bottom here that you will find in your kit. It's about a half inch strip, and there are several of them that have that. And then you'll just add your um, greeting. On this one, I glued the greeting straight on to the designer series paper. I did not use dimensionals. I use dimensionals on my snowflakes, and your snowflakes are in your kit. Then you'll just tie a knot and attach it to the front. So that is the January and the basic layout. For February, you will do this, you will, your, this paper is already cut. This one is a six by six, so you'll cut it down to three and a half by five and a quarter. Attach it to your card, to your, um, card base, this pink to the pink, and then you'll do your calendar. You have some little hearts either in your kit or that you die cut, and you, you'll sprinkle those around. I put one right here in the center of the heart, and then um, attach your greeting down here with dimensionals. Now, this is attached with dimensionals, and so is the heart, because it overlaps this. Um, and stamp your February, attach your bow, which is in your kit. March, um, your um, clovers are already cut for you. I attached all three of those with dimensionals. And um, your little cauldron down here um, is, you'll find in your packet, uh, oval um, foil, a gold foil oval. And you'll cut that in half and put that in your pot, just attach it to the back of the pot. And then um, I attached my pot with dimensionals. And this strip, if you are cutting your own DSP, some of you will receive yours already cut, 
and that's um, the strip will be in your packet. Some of you will have a six by two pieces of six by six. You'll need to cut those down. So cut a piece off for this also, okay? And attach that. And this is about three quarters of an inch from the bottom. April. And on April, you're gonna to wanna to color your flowers. And those were colored with Pool Party and um, Blushing Bride uh, Stampin' Blends. And I did the light, the, the light ones. And this one is also colored the same. You'll have to fussy cut your little rabbit and um, attach these two. There's two strips in your packet that are, one is um, petal pink and one is pool party. You'll to put those together and adhere those to the bottom about three quarters of an inch up. And on my little bunny, I colored his tail and one ear. <laughs> um, so if you wanna do that, that's your choice. Um, and I touched the flowers with dimensionals, okay? May is a pansy, and you'll have to put your pansy together. So these two get glued to the back of this one, and this all gets glued on here, and it should fit on there beautifully. It's already cut for you. You'll attach your two leaves to the back of your pansy, and then attach that with a dimensional. You will have to cut this paper. This one is already cut for you. Um, and that's the three and a half by five and a quarter once again. And then you have a strip to go across the bottom here. And I used three of the little um, dots from the playing with patterns that is in your kit. This is attached with a dimensional. I think that's it. Okay, the fish, I probably should have had a fishy here. Um, let's see, do I have a packet left that has... I'm trying to see if I spot my packet that I had left. I had some leftover things. Um, hold on. I do. Let's see if I have a fish in here. I thought I had some fish left there because the fish are kind of unique. They are die cut. Um, there's one. Okay, so they are die cut, but there are they're still attached. So you'll need to cut right here, and then he's right up here near the head and right down here. So let me grab a pair of scissors. These are huge scissors for doing this, but we'll see if I can make it work. So I'm just gonna cut from this little spot here around to this spot. And they're gonna come around my little fish there. And then from this edge right here, I'm gonna cut over to that because I wanna free him from this paper. And then up here around the, his head, he has two spots. So. Just gonna cut that loose and cut him loose over here. Yeah, these scissors are too big for this. <laughs> Get a small pair of scissors, guys. Okay, so now I have freed my fish. And there he is. So I would cut this a little bit more rounded here. Oops. Okay, so you're gonna free your fish. I did color him with a little bit of pool party. Um, just sponged him a little bit um, too. And then you'll need to punch out all these extra little, of course, pieces. You guys know that. Um, so I sponged him with just a tad of pool party. And then down here for your bottom fish, you're going to, I, I, the coral is already cut for you in your packet and I sponge that with Calypso Coral. So, um, and then just attach it, and that is flat on there. All of this is flat. There are no dimensionals on this. Although, the fish could really have a dimensional because he's up over the edge of the calendar, so you could put a dimensional or two underneath him 
and that would look good. Okay, August is the pear, I mean the peaches, the infamous peaches that we had so much trouble stamping, but they came out beautiful in the end, didn't they? Okay, so you're gonna attach your stems with the leaves to your peaches. Your peaches are attached, um, raised up. Your DSP is all cut. On the bottom here, I um, just attached this with dimensionals. I put probably four dimensionals in there. And I added a little bit of rhinestones to mine. Um, I did not include any rhinestones in the kit this time because I figured everyone has rhinestones. You could even color those with a Sharpie or a Stampin' Blend. Okay, um, was that August? Yeah. September. So for September, you have one of two. You either have a gray one or you have the cinnamon cider. Um, so on this one, you if you have the cinnamon cider, you have one strip of brick wall that you're going to attach down here. This is all cut for you. Um, if you have the gray one, same thing. You have a piece. You have two pieces down here. You have actually a piece of... Um, I'm gonna guess it's smoky slate. I'm going across here, and um, you're gonna attach the piece of designer series paper there um, to the smoky slate, and then attach it. Uh, this is put on, the greeting is put on with the dimensional, and all of my little hardware here is also put on with dimensionals. So just really simple. I just ran with the, the way that the papers came, it was good to use both, and I liked both. So I couldn't decide which one, so some people got the gray and some people got the cinnamon cider. October, October was a fun Halloween one. So you may or may not have a spider. If you don't have a spider, you have that poor little ladybug who got caught in the spider web. So um, I'm sorry, I ran out of spiders. So you have a spider web that's been die cut. You have um, a hat. The witch's hat and the cauldron, which will need to be fussy cut. Um, this is attached with dimensionals. So is this and this. And then the, the cobweb is just glued on. For the cobweb for gluing on, you can do it one of two different ways. or We can do it several ways, I'm sure. Um, my favorite for that kind of thing is the adhesive dots because they stick where you need them to stick. Um, there's also, you can also take, if you don't have these, you can use the liquid glue and um, you can put a little bit on a mat and then take a sponge and dog, pick it up with the sponge and put it on the back of it and then put it on to here. I believe that's what I did and it looked, no, I have it on with a glue dot, you guys. There's another way. Um, and that way my cobweb is movable. So you could attach it with a glue dot in the center. You're gonna put the spider in the middle too. Okay, so that was three ways you could attach that, huh? Okay, the next one is November. You'll need to color your pumpkins with um, pale papaya and soft succulent. And they are attached with, a, with dimensionals. You'll need to cut your DSP here this sheet is not cut, this one should be. This one is um, needs to be cut to three and a half by five and a quarter. And then you have your greeting, which is attached with dimensionals. And then I've attached these leaves. Now the leaves are not on dimensionals. This one could be, but this one I wouldn't because uh, you've already got dimensionals down here. You don't want too much when it comes to the dimensionals. It's already thick. Then December, our last one, you have, um, two petals for the for your flower, two of each color. So you're going to, um, my little dot is crooked. You're going to put those two together, alternating so that they're like, you know, going like that. So they're filling in, so they're not right on top of each other. And then attach your two um, holly leaves to it. And you've already got your greeting stamped. And so you're just gonna attach your greeting down here. Your paper is not cut. Your designer series paper will need to be cut to three and a half by five and a half by five and a quarter for both of these sheets. Um, I think that's. Oh, I've added one of the little uh, playing with petals bling to the center of my um, poinsettia. 
Thank you so much for joining me in this project. Um, I hope you enjoy your calendar. Keep in mind that you do have creative license and so whatever you decide to do with your calendar, I am sure will be absolutely beautiful. If you want to change something, if you want to add something, you have freedom to do that. I'm just here to inspire you and start you off. And if you decide that you 